Hey, nine. I'm three. I'm only one third as big as you are. I had two. I'm four. You're just half my size. Hello, X. I'm Y. You're just, uh, I'm only, uh, what I mean is, uh, hey, how are we related? You're a variable, aren't you? Don't you know that symbols like you and I can be related any way we want? How's that? By making a polynomial out of me. That's right. Just take a few variables, a few numbers, and multiply them together. It's that simple. It sounds easy enough, but all those numbers and letters confuse me. Well, then, it will probably be less confusing in standard form. Just multiply all the numbers together and all of the variables together, and here we have it. That's much better, thank you. But what are the 12 and the 3 for? 12 is your coefficient, and 3 is your degree. What can they do for me? They help define your value. I can be any real number. Like 4. 3 raises 4 to the third power. That's 64. And 64 multiplied by 12 makes you... 768. Now I know how we're related. But this is only the beginning. Polynomials can have as many terms as they want. How about a big one this time? All right. How about 6x squared minus 7 plus 4x to the third power plus 20x to the sixth power? Isn't there some standard form like you showed me before? There sure is. The degree of 20x to the sixth power is the largest of any term in this polynomial. It is the leading term, so it moves to the front. 20 is the leading coefficient, and 6 is the degree of the polynomial. 4x to the third power has the next largest degree, so it moves up behind 20x to the sixth power. It's my turn now. I'm bigger than 6. Not so fast, 7. You're just the same as 7x to the zero power. The degree of 6x squared is bigger than yours. But tell me how this affects me. That again depends on the value of x. This time, let's make x equal to 5. 15,652 plus 500 plus 150 minus 7 makes you 16,268. Hey, that's pretty good. Remember. You depend on me. What are polynomials good for, anyway? Polynomials can be used to solve many mathematical problems. For example, you might want to know the perimeter of one side of a lopsided pyramid. Just add the length of each side. Like this. Or say you want to give your living room window a fresh coat of red paint. The area of the rectangle is found by multiplying the length times the width like this. In an even more practical situation, suppose you want to fill your swimming pool with orange jello. You would figure the volume by multiplying the length times width times depth, like this. Well, what if I don't want to be a polynomial? You mean like y equals sine x? or cosine x, or e to the x? Well, x can still approximate you with a polynomial. And using computers, we can get tables for your values by evaluating these polynomials. Yes, polynomials are important. As a matter of fact, they are the building blocks of mathematics. Golly! Shazam!